welcome if you're new by the title you guys know we're doing a grocery haul i have not like really really went grocery shopping in about two weeks because you guys know i've been doing my bite meal preps and this week i took a break from it but i'll resume next week but with a little bit less um just look four meals so it shouldn't be a lot you guys know i was doing eight meals if you have no idea what i'm talking about you can check it out in a little corner there you know and right right up in there somewhere i did i tried a meal prep service because i was just so sick and tired of trying to worry about counting what i was eating the food was already cooked the food was already counted and it was a joy but sometimes you know you do kind of want to do your own thing so i went to the grocery store trader joe's by the title you already knew that and if you know you know i love trader joe's we in that thing so i'm just going to show you guys what i got Spent about $110. That's about, you know, what I kind of do. About $100 or so, depending on what you're getting. But I'm really happy with this grocery haul. So let me give you guys the aerial view. And then we'll get into every each individual item that I purchased. So, guys, this is the little aerial view. You guys know it's not really a lot. But I don't know. Feeling happy with this grocery haul because I got a couple of big meat items or so, I think. Anyway, we're going to talk about it in detail like we always do starting right about now. All right, guys, so I just wanted you guys to see me because I felt really cute today, even though I had no makeup on. All black, what's up, we in that thing. Looking real fit, if I say so myself. I mean, these arms are still a hot mess, but, but. Waist is cute, waist is cute. Hi, okay, anyway, we have for groceries, baby. So I'm gonna start off with some stuff that's not mine. You guys know when I go to the grocery store, Bear always have to have his list of what he wants. It's fairly small. Today it was just one item or four. Um, he likes these Trader Joe's smoothie mixes, or I guess I don't need to call them smoothie mixes, but they're smoothies. So this one is a green one. It's called Very Green. It is 100% juice smoothie. It has banana, mango, kiwi, apple, pineapple juice, yeah, whatever. It's real, real good though. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. These are good. He also has a mango one, which is my favorite. They're both really good. I don't mess with them because nutritionally, they don't do a lot. They taste good, but this entire bottle is almost freaking 300 calories. This is 270 and this one is 300 calories and it's just a drink. Like, baby, I'd rather have oysters and crackers for that. Like, and it's going to be under 300 calories. Like, it's just a drink. Like, I don't want to drink 300 calories. Like, I just don't. Okay? But, no, it's really good, though. If you guys like smoothies, it's good. I just don't know if it's 300 calorie good. But, whatever. So, those are bears and everything else is kind of all of ours because you know i cook our meals whatever um so i don't have any i don't know like how i'm gonna get started i don't know why i'm rambling in this freaking vlog anyway we're gonna do the meats first starting off with what y'all already know a rib every time i go to trader joe's baby got to have my smoked oysters this is your first time watching a grocery haul for me i literally get these every time i go to the grocery store whether it's trader joe's kroger i haven't found them in walmart yet but pretty much any grocery store i go to whether i'm just picking up some juice i always pick up smoked oysters like i'm addicted to them they are my favorite snack at the moment <sighs> they're great for protein they're just great i love them to death okay so keeping up with our meat i got these a and h kosher beef hot dogs i think this is a new thing at trader joe's i've never seen them before but one hot dog is 160 calories and eight grams of protein i mean it's a hot dog it is beef but I did want to have chili dogs this week, which I know isn't the healthiest thing. But, y'all, I count my calories for the most part. And I kind of do what I want. And every week I have a meal that I probably cook that's just probably not the best. But I also don't really care to label food healthy or not healthy. And I feel like I need to have a whole video discussing that. And this is why. Because even though processed foods are the ones that deem to be not healthy... Pretty much every fucking thing we have is processed. These oysters are processed because they're canned. Like, they're not fresh. Like, pretty much all of our food is processed these days. And it's just not a big deal. I feel like you really need to eat towards your goals. So, if you're trying to lose weight, number one goal is calorie deficit. Number two goal is protein. And that protein is just because you want to maintain your muscle mass. Fat, sugar, and all of that doesn't really matter. It's a personal thing. If you just want a low-salt diet, a low-sugar diet, you think that's best for you, then that's great for you. But necessarily, y'all, I do not believe that. Oh, my God, that food is healthy. That food is not healthy. Food is freaking food. And whatever you're trying to do, you're going to have to tailor your food. But it's not necessarily placing bad or good labels on food. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let's continue with this grocery haul. On to our meat. I got this big old bag of chicken wings. I want to do some um, chicken wings in the air fryer. I need to do a what I eat in a day this week. 
So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna film this or another meat that I've got that you guys have never seen me cook and this is some cod. So I picked up some cod from Trader Joe's. It's just two pieces of Alaska cod fillets. Um, it's wild caught. That This was $9 for both pieces. Mm, you know, they're pretty thick if you guys can see. The good size. It is uh, 80 calories for four ounces. Great protein, 17 grams. So I've never cooked cod before. I was just going to throw it in the pan, like pan fry it. And then I have these air fryer wings that I'm going to make. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to... Uh, do my what I eat in a day with the cod just because I've never done it and I'm sure you guys would like to see something new But don't sleep on the air fryer if you don't have an air fryer Like get an air fryer because I'm telling y'all especially if you are trying to be conscious of your calories because like wings If you deep fry them and fry them in oil you're adding calories But when you put them in the air fryer, baby, they you not and they're gonna be crispy and they're gonna be good Get an air fryer if you don't have one. I will have a link to the one that I have below in the description box But yeah, so I showed you the cod I showed you the, the freaking chicken. Speaking of chicken, if you know, you know. Every time I go to Trader Joe's, y'all, orange red and chicken is a must. It's a must. Like, kind of like my oysters. Like, you can't go to Trader Joe's and not get on chicken. Like, what are you doing? Y'all, the calories is horrible in this. It's crazy because before I was counting, I never really paid attention. But literally, you guys, one cup, 140 grams, is over 300 calories. Whoo, baby. It's worth it. It's worth it. This is what I'm talking about. Why would I want to drink you for 300 calories when I can eat you for 300 calories? Like, baby, you got to pick and choose because you got to pick and choose. Make your decisions wisely, okay? Speaking of some more chicken, this is a chicken-ass haul. We got hella chicken. Y'all, somebody had mentioned these in my comment box and I had never seen them before and I seen them today and I was like, baby, had to try them. So these are Trader Joe's grilled jerk chicken skewers. I'll probably add this in my what I eat in the day as well just because I've never had them and I know you guys want to review. Do you not? Do you not want to review? Okay. It comes with mango chutney, like, like a little sauce and I'm just really excited to try that. So these um, two skewers are 100 grams, is about 19 grams in protein, and also 150 calories without the sauce. I don't know, I feel like that's a lot for just two skewers of chicken. But I'll talk more about this in my what I eat in the day because I'll try it then. So also make sure you're subscribed and you got the notification bells on so y'all miss it. Y'all don't wanna miss that, you don't wanna miss it. So that pretty much wraps it up for the meat. I do have these cans. I bought thick. I bought three cans of beef chili with beans. If you guys want to count that, never got this before. I actually, I actually saw it on one of my little Trader Joe's Instagram pages that I follow. Um, I'm thinking it's probably going to be pretty good. So a cup of this is 18 grams of protein and 210 calories and in this container is about two cups but i told you guys i was making chili dogs so that's really what i got these for i probably will eat one can alone with some shredded cheese but i typically got the chili for the chili dog speaking of shredded cheese i have two bags of this now i don't i don't think i've ever tried this particular brand of um trader joe's shredded cheese i usually always get like the mexican cheese i think this is exactly what it's called like the mexican blend blend of shredded cheese um but how anyhow this is shredded three cheese blend low low most i cannot speak low moisture mozzarella cheese monterey jack cheese and cheddar cheese two bags also with cheese i got these cracker cheese cuts which is extra as fuck you don't have to do it it's why my grocery bill be so high you literally can buy cheese slices which i have in the refrigerator and eat it like but i like to have these with my crackers and i have like salami slices but you could just do it with regular slices this is why the damn bill be high maybe i need to stop buying like perfectly packaged things because of convenience and just buy for like budget because i have hella slices of cheese in the refrigerator that could serve its purpose i don't know and so that's it for my dairy actually see when i go through this food i'm like girl you don't got nothing like we literally almost done okay so we're going to talk about the sides i only have one like starch or carby side in this haul and that is the trader joe's jasmine rice now again what i mean about convenience so these are three bags of rices in here rices <laughs> rices there are three bags of rice in here y'all i think this was like five dollars maybe four dollars but really i have a whole box of freaking jasmine rice in the cabinets for like a dollar and some change but the convenience of just like popping this in the microwave 
you really be paying for convenience out here like you really do and i'm not mad at it i just thought i'd explain to you guys why maybe my grocery bill is so high for a little amount of food i also have these mango and ginger seeded crisp i pretty much have these in every haul because i also eat these with my oysters and that's pretty much it again for like carby starchy sides but these and these and that, that Mandarin chicken, almost every freaking Trader Joe haul has them included because they're like my faves. I, of course, got hot dog buns for my freaking hot dogs. And then going into the veggies that I have because that's pretty much wraps it up, you guys. I have broccoli because I freaking love roasted broccoli. I also love steamed broccoli and I like to add sour cream and cheese, which is huge, like adding calories, but whatevs. I really love to do it. And again, if you know, you know, I freaking love Trader Joe's shaved Brussels sprouts, so you can't really roast these because they're really shaved and like little bitty leaves and pieces so you typically pan fry them but they're still really really good and they are whoo i just love brussels sprouts and broccoli those are like my veggies of choice but don't sleep on this i've got this a couple of times like maybe three times um it's the vegetable and soba noodle stir fry kit so there are noodles in here but it's also just veggies that you can stir fry. It comes with broccoli florets, bok choy, savoy cabbage, snow peas, green onion with soba noodles, and a soy ginger sauce. Really, really good. I'm probably going to have this with my Trader Joe's chicken instead of rice just to switch it up and also add a veggie in the same time with the little noodles that it comes with. And I picked up diced onions because you guys know I'm lazy as hell and I don't like to cut up my veggies. And also this goes with my, uh, my chili dogs. My chili dogs that I'm going to have later on in the week. Now. Every time I go to the grocery store, you guys know I always get something sweet because I have a sweet tooth. I try not to overdo it, but I do give me a little, a little, you know, indulgent treat in my grocery haul. This week, I decided to try the Smashing S'mores from Trader Joe's, you guys. I've seen these and I've never tried them. So it's milk chocolate wrapped in, it's like covering a graham cracker in a marshmallow. And I heard they were just so freaking good. Now, two pieces of this is 150 calories, but I mean, it is freaking chocolate and marshmallow, so it's nothing but sugar but i'm excited to try this little cute treat and it also says you know just place it in the microwave for about four to six seconds and you got some little s'mores to go it's lit but that does wrap it up for my grocery haul for trader joe's this week again guys 110 dollars I don't know. I don't know. I, I need to get it together. I still have not went to Kroger recently to compare how I spend or even Walmart because I really can't stay away from Trader Joe's. And the last grocery haul I did was Aldi and it was about the same in comparison. So Kroger and Walmart really, really need to be coming up. If you're still here, leave me a marshmallow emoji for the smashing s'mores and also because we've never done that emoji. We just don't really have a reason to. So I'd love to see a marshmallow emoji in the comment box. I'm pretty sure they have one, but I really don't know for sure. But yeah, y'all, you will let me know. Y'all gonna cuss and let me know. Make sure you're checking out other videos from me here on the screen because I'm just a hoot to hang out with. And I'll see you guys in my next video.